today we have a new topic, matter. What is matter? Matter can be any substance, as shown here, any substance. There's, matter is always in these three forms, solid, liquid, and gas. What is matter? What is solid, liquid, and gas? So solid, there are these little particles called molecules, and molecules are in everything. No matter what, everything is made of molecules, even things we cannot see. So, so the way that molecules act in solids are like this. They never get apart. They're all connected like that in one place. That's why the that's why it's never like moving around a solid. You can put it in other solids. Also. So these are how the molecules look like in solids. This is how we're gonna draw them, but this is not exactly how molecules look like. So they're all connected like that. In solids. That's why you can't like like this. Is a solid, so you can cannot pass through it. You cannot pass through solids. You can see them too, though. Now, what are liquids? What are what are liquids? Liquids, the molecules have a little bit of space, but they can move that. But they can move freely. They will bump into each other, though. Liquid can move, and liquid does not have its own shape because the molecules can move around a little bit. So it just take so the liquids just take shape of the container they're in. See these molecules that I drew right now? You see they have some space in them, like this, the space. You see that? That is the space that allows the water to move around because the molecules move around. What is gas? Gases, the molecules have lots of space in them like this. See how much space it is? So they can move around freely. You can't see gases. Most of the time they're almost always invincible like air. You can't feel them, but you can feel wind, which is a gas, blowing through your hair and all that stuff. So you can't see it, but and it spreads all around the container it's in. Not unlike the liquids. It spreads all around the container it's in. If it's in no container, it spreads all around and never stops. See how there's so much space between these? That's what gas is. Now I'll we'll show you what solids are. These are salt. This is ice. It's a solid that's made out of water. So what you do is you freeze water in the freezer and the coldness is so cold that the water becomes stiff. It becomes still like this. And then when it heats up, thus this ice you see here in this cup changes to this water. You see? Now it's all liquid, like we talked here. See? It's all liquid. It moves around. You can't feel the molecules, but they're there. They're too super tiny. And then this liquid turns into gas, which is called evaporation. Since when it gets so hot, the liquid goes up into the air. You can't see it because then it's it super, super teeny tiny drops that go up into the air and then they go and then they form a cloud. The cloud causes the drops get bigger and then they precipitate. Precipitate means like raining. They come down. And then how they go evaporate, go up, and then the glass is empty. See? Since you can't see the air, I'll show you this way. Take a green, I'll take this balloon, and then I'll blow it up. This balloon takes a really long time to blow it up, so I'll just fast forward it. Kind of not there. This. Since, you know why the balloon is so light like that? 
It's so light because it's filled with gas. Gas is a helium is another kind of gas. This balloon, so other balloons are filled with helium like this to, to make them go up, rise up into the air. But this one, since it's made with rubber, it goes down. And it also has regular air in it. But the helium ones, the helium makes it go super duper up. And then it can touch the roof. Or just keep flying out forever into the sky. Okay? So that was gas. Now that we have learned the three states of matter, now that we know what they are, we're going to compare them. This is what is the liquid. It's all freely moving around just like that. But then this, when it freezes up, when it's so cold, it freezes up and then turns into this solid. See? So the liquids are, some of them connected, some of them are free, and then, and then once they s slowly, slowly form into this ice, they slowly, slowly all bunch up together and connect. That's how you get this ice. The reason why it feels so cold is because you freeze the ice. When you freeze it, you freeze it in the cold. That's why. And then here's the water again. And then ha remember how I told you the water can evaporate? This, the water evaporated. So now it's gas. And now I'll blow up this balloon since you can't really see the gas. I'll explain it better. So the blowing process takes a really long time. We're gonna fast forward it for you guys. All right, now, tie the knot. There, look. This balloon, why it's so light like that, anybody can lift it, is because it's filled with air. It's filled with gas. You see this? It doesn't have anything in it. This is heavier than this. I'll show you, let's compare. Put the balloon down here. Then, see? This hand is lower than this hand. That means this is heavier because this is light. Because this is heavier than this. This is lighter because gas is lighter. See how I move? See how my hand moves freely through it? Because you can't feel it at all. It feels like you're lifting nothing. That's why this is lighter than this. Let's compare these two. This is still heavier than this. I don't know why. But it is like that for some reason. So now let's go back to the blue. All right. So let's take a peek at all these. I'll put the balloon right here in case you don't understand the gas. You can just use the balloon. Let's compare them. You cannot pass through this one because it's solid. So see? My hand cannot pass through, it's staying on the top. Right here, I'll show you. See, it's staying on the top. Now this, my hand can pass through, it's going through it. But you could see it. This my hand can pass through, but you cannot see it. If that doesn't help, then this, since at the outside is a solid, you can't pass through it, but the inside you could pass through it. Cause the gap. Bye guys, I hope you learned something new. Hope you come back for more videos and please subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you and hit the bell icon to be notified when more videos are out so you can be the very first to watch it. Bye guys, please come back soon.